Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to the Franny's hair portion of Franny's Square. Today I'm going to be reviewing this wig, Sunset by Ellen Villa, and I'll be showing it to you in two different colors. First, before I get started, I just want to say a great big thank you to all of you. You have been so supportive on this wig journey and your comments and encouragement mean so much to me. And I just wanted to make sure that I said thank you to you. It really has helped so much. Okay, so before we get started, I just wanna let you know what's coming up on the channel. First, on the crochet side, I'm about three quarters of the way through filming a tutorial for a poncho for the fall. And I think you're really gonna like that. On the hair side, I started filming the how to wash a wig because I had questions on that and I had a wig that needed to be washed. So I already filmed the washing of it. I'm waiting for it to dry so I can show you the end part and I'll put that all together and that should be up very shortly, just depending on how long it takes the wig to dry. I've had many of you say to me, you know, I love the wigs, but I just can't afford these wigs that you're trying on. First, let me say, I never pay full price. Never. <laughs> I get 30% off coupons. I get the emails, make sure I hear about all the deals. Some of them have on their clearance section sometimes an additional 40% off. And I love going through those. When you do go to those sections, the wigs are usually offered in only one color. And if it's your color, you're lucky. So I comb through those and try to get my wigs as inexpensively as possible. In any case, I know that there are more affordable wigs out there and I've decided to do an affordable wig series. So I ordered six wigs from Paula Young, I'm waiting for those to come in. I'm gonna show you all of those. And I ordered two wigs from Tony Bratton. So that's gonna be coming up as well. And I'm gonna continue that series because who doesn't like a good bargain? And I really wanna see the quality of these wigs. They start at $29.99 and go up from there. So I'm gonna have all different price points, all different styles, all different colors, and we're gonna learn about these wigs together. Okay, so let's talk about this wig. This wig is basically right out of the box. I shook it up a little bit, put it on my head and combed it. I tightened the stays a little bit I do have a 21 and a half inch circumference head, so I normally do have to tighten my wigs a little bit. I'm gonna first show it to you. This is in the color Tobacco Lighted, and I'm gonna just do the 360 and show it to you. This is basically out of the box. I haven't done hardly anything to it. Okay, so I love this style, and that's why I bought this second wig. The first one I bought was in Light Bernstein, I think it's called Light Bernstein Rooted, and that's a different color. Although, I gotta be honest, it's not that different. Wait till you see. But first, let's go over the cap and the details of this wig. So, uh, let me get the measurements here. Okay, so I'm, I'm looking at my cheat sheet over here, the computer. The length, the front, it says it's eight inches. It might even be a little bit longer because I know I'm eight and a half inches from here to here. So, but I like that length, right? It kind of hugs right around the face there. The crown is eight inches. The sides are six inches and the nape is two inches. So you can see that there. Okay, so let's look at the cap. Sunset has a lace front and it goes from ear tab to ear tab temple to temple which is really nice i like that and her lace fronts i think are well done here's the lace front you can see it on me and i think it looks very natural she has these i don't know if they're velvet or felt ear tabs but these are so comfortable by now you probably know I find the lace ones to be a little bit scratchy so these are much more comfortable. It has the extended nape in the back which I like again with the velcro 
adjusters, my favorite type of adjuster, and that material much more comfortable. It has a left monofilament part, which works great for me because I naturally part my hair on the left, and that gives a natural look to the part. You can see it there. Has open wefting, so it's cooler, not as warm. And it's a low density wig. It is not a thick wig at all. Very comfortable to wear. However, if you have a large head, I don't think this is going to fit you. I can't say for sure because I don't have a large head, but this fits me very nicely. And like I said, 21 half inch circumference. So if I let the adjusters all the way out, I don't know how big it would go, um, probably to an average size head, but I don't know that it would work for a large head. Okay, so let's look at the color. This color is called Tobacco Lighted, and I wanna read you the description of Ellen Villa's color chart. Okay, so the Tobacco Mix, she says it's a medium brown base, you can see that there, with light golden blonde highlights and light auburn lowlights. I would say that's pretty accurate. And I will take both of these outside to show you. Now, for the Bernstein mix, which is the other, other color I have. Let me find that. Wow, it looks like it's starting to storm up outside. Okay, so let's look at the light Bernstein rooted. That's this one here. Okay. Now, if you look at it in comparison, it is very similar, I think. Yeah, I'm going to turn around, give you the back of her. The way they describe the Bernstein mix is light brown base versus a medium brown base. So I don't know if you can see the difference in bases there. Uh, subtle light honey blonde and light butterscotch blonde highlights. So if anything, I would say this just has less or maybe no red, although I don't know. That's a little bit of auburn in there and this has more auburn. Uh, both colors are beautiful. I really love this wig, love the colors. I'll take both colors outside to show you the difference outside. Okay, so let's look at this outside. This is the tobacco lighted. You can see the auburn in there. And I believe the back is probably darker. I don't know if you can see that. I'm not good with this camera. And here is the light Bernstein rooted in comparison. So it is lighter and I would say less auburn -y. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. I'm gonna play with it a little bit and then I'm gonna show you some styling ideas. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that review of Sunset by Ellen Villa. Please keep all of your comments and questions coming. I read every single one of them and I'm dedicated to working on this journey to not only help myself and thank you so much for all of your encouragement. It really means so much to me, but also to hopefully help some other people who are experiencing hair thinning for whatever reason. Um, I think one of the big things about the wig journey is getting over feeling embarrassed by the problem of having thinning hair. And I've decided to just accept it for what it is 
and have fun with it. And boy, am I having fun. Yesterday in the morning, I had long curly blonde hair. And then in the evening, I was wearing this because it came yesterday and I couldn't wait to put it on. <laughs> My husband never knows what to expect, but I think he's enjoying having a different woman all the time. So anyway, I hope that I'm encouraging you to check this out if it's something that you're interested in or something you feel you need and to have the confidence to just give it a try. And hopefully with the affordable wig series, more and more people will be able to do that. So again, keep your questions and comments coming. I read every single one of them. Okay, as always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own and I'll see you soon.